Do you just tell the pig it needs to do some exercise? sure where we're going in the Exumas so um, unfortunately this task has been assigned to me and math is bad so I'll check back in a little while. And another beautiful sunset here in the Bahamas. So we're gonna go across the way here and find some dinner at a restaurant, but we gotta go out around the point. Should be a pretty ride. Oh, wow. Ah, wow, those sunsets never get old. Never get old. We've arrived. Birthday dinner, this way. Okay. I think that's it. Yep, that's gotta be it. And I guess they have Kong. So this is our anchorage here in Normans, and it is absolutely beautiful. Look at this backdrop here of these beaches, palm trees, beautiful waters and sunshine. And uh, what we're going to do in a little while is we're going to go right through.
treasures from our little beach walk. Look at that. Our first sand dollars. So we're taking a ride, right? So we are on a remote island, there is one restaurant, one runway, and they have this Super Bowl. Doesn't get much better than that. We're going to go in here and join our other Buddha friends and uh, watch the Super Bowl. So for the past couple days, the weather has been a little rough, a little windy, and a lot of us have been, a lot of us other boats, have been anchored uh, near Norman's Key, and the weather is much better now, and we're headed to our next destination, which is Wadworth Wells, and uh, we're also not alone. We've got some sailboats falling behind us, and in front of us looks like a highway of sailboats. There's probably five or six boats all headed in the same direction. So uh, it's a great day to travel, and a great day in the Bahamas. Check it out. Okay, we have just tied up to this mooring ball and what you're about to see is amazing. Look at that. This has got to be one of the most beautiful places we have anchored. Uh, we're here in the Exuma Park. Uh, so all around here and for stretches and stretches of beautiful uh, scenery like this, there's tons of, uh, of space here in this park. And it has got to be one of the best places ever to go and spend a day. So we're going to go explore a little bit, but we're here. Here we are. It's our vivid moment. Here we are at the anchorage. And there's Vivid. And we're just about here to check in. We've officially checked in our boat and we're going to go hiking around. Uh, the first stop right next to the office is this whale hopefully you can see that back here uh, so this whale uh, in the 90s uh, died because of a plastic bag so they do emphasize a lot of uh, conservation and treating the environment properly and this is just a, a great example of how a little thing can destroy a 52 foot whale so here's where we start We've arrived. We're officially at Boo Boo Hill. And what a view. The top here, many boaters leave mementos or signs they've been here. Lots to read and all that. all these holes. Water finds its way up here. It's got to be 20 feet above that other hole. They're all over the place. Just another beautiful day here at Wadrick Wells. Uh, this mooring is kind of interesting as you come in from the ocean 
uh, over there or from the sound, you come in this stream where all those boats are, and then you come around to where that boat is, and then you come back up this way. So in the middle between us is a sandbar, and what we've heard is that at low tide, it pretty much is a place where you can walk across to the other boats. So uh, maybe it'll be a fun place for us to kayak in a little bit, and we're gonna go try to explore a little bit more of this beautiful place today. It's kind of nice. They have kayaks that you can use um, out there. Use at your own risk. <clears throat> Is that because of the kayaks or because of the sharks? Well, we're going to find out. What'd you find? Oh, it's so super soft sand. Unbelievable. Hanging out here on our deck. Hello. They've been swimming back and forth through the current. I believe these are near sharks, so they're fairly harmless, but um, kind of fun to watch. They uh, definitely get your attention the first time you see them. So it's about 4.30 and we're making a little bit of water where the sun goes down here on Vivid. And just like clockwork, the uh, little sharks show up here in the channel and they're a little bit curious about our water maker. Let's see if this one comes and checks it out. I'm not sure what is this thing floating in the back, which is the pickup hose for our water maker. Kind of curious. Realizes it's not something he wants. Friends are back. Yeah, they're uh, they're checking out the water maker hose. Communication is always a challenge. Um, we are maybe 20, 25 miles from uh, what we think is the closest cell tower where we also can pick up uh, data and, and Wi-Fi through our, our mobile hotspot. And uh, we didn't think we had any connectivity and then in the middle of the night we got like a couple messages which was weird. So um, this is how we're boosting our signal. We're going to take our hotspot and we're going to drop it in this sail bag and we're going to hoist it up the mast and see if we can get a better signal. Uh, from way down there. Yes. Oh, what we do just to get a message. That should do it. Time to check our Gmail. Tied up. Pigs. It's Daniel Key and the famous beaches of pigs. Swimming with the pigs, right? Yep. I think I see one over there. What? I do. Oh, you do? Yeah, it looks like a dog. But I can do around there. It's big. That poor tenderloin. <laughs> no, I think that'd be in bad taste. Alright. So here we are today. Yeah. So here we are on Pig Beach. Visiting with these guys, uh, they don't want to take their pic have their picture made. But... I think that's pig pen. It's got a little mud. Here, little fella. Where are you going? Going back to the jungle? Right. 
aside from the pigs. This area is also where the James Bond movie Thunderball was filmed in 1965. Sean Connery and his crew spent lots of time here at the Staniel Key Yacht Club. This is Thunderball Grotto, and while this may look like just another rock in the water, there is really so much more, which is why many film crews were drawn to it. This rock is actually a unique cave system that contains some of the best snorkeling anywhere. There are a few openings in the rock which are most easily accessed at low tide. You swim under the rock and surface in the grotto. It's absolutely incredible. We anchored for the night near Musha Key and Rudder Cut Key. We explored the area by dinghy, and we saw a lone eagle nesting at the very top of a huge rock. We turned off the motor and tried very hard not to disturb, but this eagle made it clear that we should not linger. Here we are making our initial entry to Georgetown. We're going to uh, follow the line of boats in, and there's a line of them all behind us back there. And uh, we'll check in once we get to our anchorage. Here we are in the shadow of Monument. They call this Monument Beach for obvious reasons. That's the uh, navigation monument. Off to the right here is uh, Chat and Chills. We'll go over uh, around that corner. Visit that at some point, and way off there is Georgetown. So we're here. Not such a bad place. Thanks for watching. That's it for this vivid update. We'll see you next time. <laughs>